There's a movie called Somewhere in Time where Christopher Reeves goes back in time to be with this woman that he's fallen in love with uh -huh. through her picture. He sees her picture on a wall in a hotel and he's like, oh my God. And he finds a way to travel back in time to be with her. That's I creepy. I would do that for Rani Mukherjee. Oh. You know, so that we're more closer in age. You know what you're, I'm saying? You're like a creeper. That's not creepy at all. It was a very lovely story. You never saw it. You no. would like it. Achara, don't even start with me. You would have gobbled that up, okay? You would have gobbled it up just like like just like I did. I, I probably would have. I'm not gonna lie. However, when I think about it in real life, I'm like, wait, hold on. You fell in love with a girl from her picture? You don't even know her personality. What if her personality stinks? And then you meet up with her and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that I wasted my only pin particles to get here, and now I can't return back to my timeline. I'm gonna be an old Old man. Meanwhile, the girl that I liked had a crush on in my timeline in the time where I'm from. She's not going to wait for me. I'm going to be old. W I, I don't know. When it's you when you weird. when you walked in, did you see that sign that said UCB? No, because no, it's not fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> this is an improv hour. I was just trying to pay a compliment to Rani Mukherjee. She's beautiful. <laughs> And a very, very talented actress. You know, if you're trying to be realistic about all the things, there's plenty of dumbass movies you liked that had terrible setups. Uh, like, uh, Twilight? <laughs> 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 That's way worse. I know. Dude's like 10,000 years old in love with a young, 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 young lady. That's, you know, that's, old, that's, a, that's statutory grape. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Okay, what are you looking at? Oh, actually, you know what? I don't have to go back in time. <laughs> you take her now. You're like, I'll right. have you. Ronnie Mukherjee. I'm weird, though. Jabby Koe. My mom my mom was so weirded out by my crush on Michelle Yeoh when I was a little kid. I was, I w I was like, in my early teens when I had a crush on her. I'm like, when I'm 18, I could marry her. And she's going to be, like, in her mid-40s or something like that. So, anyway. <laughs> All right, Rani Mukherjee Evolution from StarMix, the YouTube channel. You guys, if you enjoy this video we're about to look at, please, please, please subscribe to StarMix and give the original video an upvote. There's a link in the description. If you just scroll down, you can hit that link and give them an upvote and subscribe to their channel. Also, while you're here, please vote this video up. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, Rani Mukherjee Evolution. She's in the intro. She's always been in the intro. Ah. Is that Amir Khan? No. No, I don't think that? so. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Amir Khan. There we go. That's oh. Amir Khan. Yeah. There I, we are. I, I, they look cute together. It might have been Amir Khan in that first one. Maybe. Just because they're like showing they, up together they, so much. They like to do that a lot. Cooch, Here cooch, hunter, hey. Here we go. I have a fun fact uh, about that, actually. Someone, someone uh, said in the comments that I thought was really interesting. I think it was for this movie that actually Karan Johar wasn't convinced in casting her in the role because he thought that she was too short and too dark to be considered attractive. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I'm like, Karan Johar, you're wrong. If that if that really is Well, true. I mean, he eventually came around. Yeah. So, yeah. there you go. He realized his mistake. Yes, he did. Squeeze me. Yes. <laughs> Her eye roll in the background. I heard was... story and I heard girl. Yeah. Oh, they're back. Oh, that's a dress and boots. Maybe, um... Rani Mukherjee is to Amir Khan what Kajol is to SRK. Yeah, I wonder. Can you guys tell us? That's really pretty. Oh, man, I 
That's definitely not Amir Khan. Yeah, I know. I'm like... talking about life oh yeah that pink is working for her yep all of this is coming back into style now oh what the yeah oh. I liked her in this I completely forgot that she was in this I didn't she was great in her little role. What is this move? That was a very SRK expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Hold are up. they? Is that real? That's crazy. Is that real? They're dancing on a rooftop. That looks scary as hell. I'd throw up. <gasps> wow. Oh boy. Yeah. The things you do for your art, right? She doesn't I, even I seem know. a little bit scared. I Maybe know. it just looks closer because of compression. Maybe. I hope so. Where is this? <laughs> that seems like this seems like shooting this took a lot of energy. Yeah. She's like, can I go back to the part where I was just running? <laughs> <laughs> She's done that move that move twice now with the thing behind yeah. her. Cute. Is she calling him a drunk? Oh wow. Oh, it's the same film. Okay. I was like, how many movies back to back did they do together? It must have been like a pretty big movie to show so many clips from it, you know? Look at her though. She did a lot of movies in 2000. Well, she was afraid of that Y2K thing. <laughs> like, gotta get them all in. Oh! Hey. This is not the music from the movie. I think no. it's a replacement yeah. on purpose because it's the copyright issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if some of the comments are about that. You used the wrong music. That dude got close. Yeah, he did. What is this? It's very pretty. Aww. <laughs> what is the premise of this movie? I don't know. I was like, is it Motu again? rude <laughs> I don't know what he's saying <laughs> over here you don't want to be pointing at someone's face what is that y'all should close the window <laughs> Is 
It's the prequel to The Witcher. Oh! <laughs> Shalo Ishk Ladaye. Is it San Francisco? I don't know. It looks like LA. Yeah, it does. That was like downtown LA. They're back. How much you want to bet that he rejects her in this movie? <laughs> so it could be with Kajol. Oh, hey. Uh oh. Oh, that's cute. Again? Oh, they're together again. I <laughs> just oh. like straight up cut the audio. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Oh, she was in Kalhona Ho, ha. Huh? I wonder if that was a, a YouTube music replacement. I've never even heard of this one. No. I think she's so cute. I could watch her all day. That's sorry if Ali Khan's look where he looks just like the dude from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, right. Oh, she's in this movie too? It looks super serious. Wow, she looks totally different there. Yeah. Sometimes she's got these brutal dances. Yeah. So much energy required. I love the outfits here. Oh, oh, the robot. Nice. Oh, this is cute. What movie is this? I like it. Ooh. Is this the American film? No. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. Oh, it's covered up again. Mm -hmm. Why are you sad? When is she not sad? <laughs> <laughs> she got rejected by Shah Rukh Khan again. <laughs> the dog. I can't think of another movie I've seen rock music playing over a kid eating a brownie before. <laughs> or a chocolate cake. That's her second film with him. No, like her third. Oh, her third? Okay. Yeah, I think it's her third. And she did, it seems like she did quite a few with Abhishek Bachchan. Why does that scene seem so familiar? By heart. 
Dilce. The cinematography in that looks cool. Dilce by Heart. Oh! Got a kiss. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, well this. Oh, I was that, gonna say this yeah. looks magical, and then the yeah. <laughs> last like, word and are thing you is magic. an angel? Are you a fairy? I mean, wow, that did not look great. What? That just that last one, that last shot. It didn't look great. Everything else is looking fun. Yeah. But just, yeah. Oh. Get it! He looks so different without facial hair. Yeah, he does. I mean, he looks much younger. Obviously, that was like ages ago. I need to watch this one. Yeah. This might have been the first trailer of hers that I saw. That was interesting. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. That, I don't know. Oh, they're back. They're back. Oh yeah, it's being a badass here. I really wanted to see this one actually. I thought it seemed really cute. With her hiccup issue. No video? Just her looking like the the type of police lady. Okay, so this who, is predates who that. Will, you'll be like, please, Cajole. please, officer, arrest me. Cajole evolution. Okay, we'll have to do that next. That was interesting. I Go, enjoyed going through that. that. Yeah. Look, her look changed dramatically in the last like four years of this video. It was very interesting. She went from being this like young ingenue for a really long time. Ingenue. What does that mean? It's like that that type of like young, sweet, innocent girl with a a soupçon of okay. sexuality. Okay. Yeah, she went from being that kind of young leading lady ingenue type to then kind of getting into more, you know, gritty older character roles. Which is like more age appropriate for her right now because she's in her 40s. No, but... in, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think she could have done it even in her younger years if yeah. she really wanted to. Not that the opportunity was there, but her capability was there. Exactly. And so yeah. uh, what I'm ultimately getting at, though, is I just wonder if anything happened behind the scenes off camera when she wasn't filming like in her life because she looks very different. It's just like there was this big jump between when she looked like the ingenue <laughs> to the lady who was playing the cop. I'm sure someone will tell us in the comments. She just looks like a totally different person. I mean, yeah, life happens right. sometimes. Yeah, and know? so like, I'm just and wondering what that is. That's your all. body changes, your age. Maybe she had some kids or something. Yeah, you know? Maybe. I mean, she still looks great. Don't get me wrong. It's like she just looks like a different person. That's all. Let's see. Spouses, Aditya Chopra, 2014. 2014 is when she got married. So yeah, so maybe she had a bebe. She had one bebe. Professional setback, 2007 to 2010. Following the failure of Babul, Yashraj films cast Mukherjee in Siddharth Anand's family drama Ta Ra Rum Pum in the role of racing driver Saif Ali Khan's wife and the mother of two. She was excited to play the part of the mother for the first time and modeled her character after her own mother. Released in 2007, the film was a financial success, but it received mixed reactions from critics. Khalid Mohammed hailed Mukherjee's performance as near flawless, but Rajiv Masan thought that neither she nor Khan are able to make much of an impression because of the character are so unidimensional and boring. The drama Laga Chunari Main Dog from director Pradeep Sarkar starred Mukherjee as a young woman who was forced to moonlight as a <clears throat> to fend for her family 
Her portrayal earned her a seventh best actress nomination at Filmfare, but the film had poor critical and financial returns. Uh, Shubra Gupta of the Indian Express noted that Mukherjee was responsible for holding the film together, even if her part both as an ingenue. There we go, the word. See, I told you, I'm not the only one that thinks that she's an ingenue type. And uh, <coughs> doesn't have freshness. Mukherjee once again played a <coughs> in Bonsali's. <laughs> wow. So are you? Okay, so blah, blah, blah. In an attempt to overcome this decline, Mukherjee lost weight and underwent a makeover. She continued to collaborate with Yashraj Films, taking on starring roles uh, opposite Shahid Kapoor in the romantic comedy Dil Bole Hadipa. Did we see that? We saw that, yeah? No. Oh, we didn't? Because I've never I, we seen saw, that. Well, we saw something with her and Shahid Kapoor. I thought that like might have been. Like an actual it. movie? or in, a... that, in that compilation. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, I thought you meant like we've watched that movie. No, which I just meant in that compilation. Yeah. Mukherjee had high expectations from the film in which she played a cricket-obsessed Punjabi village girl masquerading as a man. Whoa. Mm. And it had its world premiere Toronto Film uh, Internet Tor Toronto International Film Festival. The Economic Times critic Gaurav Malani was disappointed with the picture and wrote that Mukherjee comes up with a spirited performance, but her mock, sob, wine whimper do not amuse anyone. Also, after a point, you dislike visualizing the charming actress as a mustached <laughs> male player. So I, I, I came to see Rani Mukherjee be cute. Okay. The, the film was Mukherjee's fourth financial failure in a row. When questioned about her recent spat with spat or spate, spate, spate of flops with Yash Rush Films banner, she defended the collaboration, saying, "I stand by those films regardless of their fate." Later that year, she, she was featured as a talent judge for Sony Entertainment Television reality show Dance Premier League. She agreed to appear on television to gain visibility during a low phase in her film career. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I feel like everyone's film career, like it goes up and down, right? Okay, you're going to you have successes and you're going to have absolutely, failures. absolutely. Yeah. But like, can you imagine the emotional the yeah. emotional toll it takes on it you. It must have been hard because she was doing so well up until yeah. that point, you know. Success in thrillers and Hitchkey. That's the, the one that I want to watch, Hitchkey. Following the birth of her child, Mukherjee took a four-year hiatus to focus on her daughter and was persuaded by her husband, Aditya Chopra, to return to acting. That's why there was a jump in the video that we were just watching. I was yeah. wondering why there were so many years lapsing between that know, makes the, sense. The that later makes part. sense. And like, you know, she wanted to be a good mom. Good for her. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, all that being said, I, I don't mean to like be one of those stereotypical male critics who are like, uh, you know, talking about her looks and whatnot. I'm just noting what I'm seeing. I think that even in her later films, she looks great. She looks gorgeous you know? regardless. Yeah. So I just want that to be clear. Yeah. Because, you know, some people might be like, you're being sexist or whatever. To be honest with you, that being said, of the films that we watched in that collection, her later career films are the ones that I'm most interested in. Yeah. You know? But I think that's sometimes what's uh, fun in a way about aging, whether you're an actress or an actor, is that once you kind of get past constantly being the stereotypical handsome or beautiful lead mm -hmm. actor or actress, then you can kind of start getting into the more meaty and interesting roles as you advance in age. Mm -hmm. And it's less about your looks and it's more about your ability to be able to portray those characters. And like you said, she is a really good actress. And so regardless of whatever point in her, in her career, if she had wanted to take on more of those like gritty or interesting roles, she could have done that at any time because she has the chops to do it. Right. But it just so happens that, you know, she's, she's doing more of that now, which is way more interesting. It seems like she's made a, a strong comeback after taking her hiatus. Yeah. It seems like she's had quite a bit of success. So that's pretty cool. This 2007 to 2010 thing was a, a bump in the road, a hiccup. But it seems like other than that, she, it's been pretty good career for herself. Yeah. So dope. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.